Police say an armed attacker targeted workers at a Wendy's in the city's Burholm section as they were closing up Tiger. overnight. The restaurant manager ended up getting pistol whipped during the ordeal. Action News reporter Corey Davis spoke to investigators and joins us live at the scene on Cotman Avenue. Good morning, Corey. Mac, good morning. This was a scary ordeal, too. We're told that. So this is the 900 block of Cotman Avenue, close to where Rising Sun and Oxford Avenue intersect. So we're told that the man was actually hiding in the bushes out here, uh, outside the windy. And then we're told he hiding in the bushes. The manager who was getting inside her car, we're told They're also in the bushes, that bro. he put the 25-year-old manager in a headlock. He pistol whipped her, hitting her in the head and face with the gun. <laughs> Officers say the man then pulled the manager back into the restaurant where there were four other employees who were waiting for rides. Police say all of this was captured on Wendy's surveillance uh, footage. Take a listen to what else they say happened. He pointed the gun at all of the Wendy's employees and forced them into a rear office. And he was threatening to shoot and kill the manager during the struggle. Who do you think did this, Bumpkin? Who do you think did this? Was it this Asian nigga guy? ambushed her like a lion. Yo, he was crouched down behind a bush. <laughs> like a hyena. Yo. That white boy y'all just saw, yo, uh, he's literally on Philadelphia News damn near every night. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he can't even cheese. talk no more, yo. Damn, no, his, course, they have dude. sucked the life out of this dude right here, man. Give he is. Some water. Somebody give I can't believe he still has his job. Why haven't you retired yet? <laughs> but he's not the chief, though, right? But nah, he's always he's the guy on 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 yeah. news talking, and he's so yeah, defeated. We always, and <laughs> yeah, we always see him. Give this man some water. No well, man, it's it's rough out here, man. Philly, like this is this type of crime right here. The brazenness of it is just like, oh my guy speaks to the level of. It speaks to what's going on in the city when they're doing that, when they're just hiding in bushes. It's like we're going back to Africa. And police say this assault and attempted robbery happened around 2 o'clock this morning, once again at this Wendy's here outside along the 900 block of Cotman Avenue. After Mm. forcing everyone back into that rear office, police say the man demanded money after going through the empty cash registers, but officers say the cash had already been deposited into the safe and that employees were no longer able to access the money. So after this entire ordeal, police say the man just simply left. We're very, very fortunate that the manager only had minor bruises to her head and face, and there were no other injuries to the other four store employees. It was closed for business at the time. Yeah, investigators also say that medics checked out the manager here outside of the Wendy's. In the meantime, though, they are searching for that man accused of this assault and attempted robbery. They say he was wearing all black. He had on a hoodie. He was also wearing gloves and a mask where you could only see his eyes. Once again, police do have that surveillance footage that they are going over. That was a woman that got pistol whipped. Yeah, the 25 year old yeah. manager. Yeah. Do you know that if this guy goes to jail, like the people in the prison, like the other inmates, they will not shun him because he no, attacked the uh, woman? They won't. No, nope. don't bring some problem. That's a no, that's a wild they, only, they only they only shun if it's like sexual. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, yeah, most depends times, on most depends times. On what the offender is. No, a, a lot of dudes, uh, trust me, y'all did time. A lot of dudes come in jail on, on some BS sexual charges. So, the ones that really do something, they get to hide in that group, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, PC, yeah, no, 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 you know, no. Right? like they're, they're dudes walking fine. around that got railroaded by women, right? They haven't really done nothing at all, right? Mm-hmm. And everybody knows who they are. The guys that really have done something get to hide among that group and lie about their situation. You dig what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. She set yeah. me up. Murray Burry, the bitch set me up. Yeah. yeah. Go, Beach Kazi. Grove police say a KFC employee is lucky to be alive after he was shot in the head at the fast food restaurant. Damn! They police arrested the suspected shooter. They say the suspect was a former co-worker. Fox 59's uh, Max Lewis explains why police believe he targeted the victim. The Beach Grove KFC isn't serving any fried chicken today after that employee was shot in the head here last night. Detectives say the shooter had been fired from this location earlier in the day and was involved in a love triangle with another employee and the victim that went very wrong. 
Cops were called to the fast food restaurant just before 8 Tuesday night and found the victim with a bullet in his head, but still able to tell police who the shooter was. He Ooh. told detectives it was 24-year-old Roberto Pettis, mm. who had been... Oh, ah. Rito, man. Roberto yes, Pettis. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> we're, not, Rito, we're not taking this one, Chief. We're that's not taking so Rito. this one. No, that's a nigga oh, whose great grandfather was Cuban on his dad's side. I ain't trying to hear that shit. On Brito, press one. Yeah, press one. This is nah, on Brito, man. Press nah, one, man. Look, like, like, joke, jokes aside, we can't take us one, Chief. You say, you say, pre, you say, press. Stuff. You said press one if it's a burrito. On Brito, this is on Brito, man. Um, um, Roberto Pere, man. It, 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 oh, so it, all right. So if he's, it, uh, what am I then? What am I? I thought it was Pettis. I thought it was Pettis. You a sun glider, man. I, th I thought it was Pettis. <laughs> you a sun glider, That's the man. That's a whole son, man. He's no, a, if he's, if he's, he's Pettis, this, we'll take him. My mother's guy. maiden name is Rousseau. I ain't French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This, this nigga is, is me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the chat say that he's Patty. a son. Chat saying thought... he's a son, man. I, I, I think this is a this is on Brito, man. We need the, we need some diversity, man. He told detectives it was 24 year old Roberto Pettis who had been fired from the restaurant earlier that day for unknown reasons. According to court records, Pettis and the victim were sending threatening text messages to each other throughout the day. While they can't say for sure, police believe the shooting may have stemmed from both Pettis and the victim's relationship with another female employee at the. AFC. The victim uh, has two children in common with this mm. other employee, <laughs> and that other employee wow. uh, is expecting a child with the son. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. That's love. Manosphere. <laughs> this ain't even just love. This family. <laughs> right. They got kids with this woman, man. <laughs> Yo, those kids are going to come out crazy. They're going to be doing worse than he is. Wow. Oh, absolutely. Suspect. According to court filings, police discovered that Petty had threatened several employees before the shooting, telling them he would come to the restaurant and, quote, shoot all the white people. Police say Woo! Petty has denied. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> That's what I was waiting for, God Where's damn Richie at? Somebody call Richie. Yeah, somebody call Rich out Richie, man. Anybody got his number, man? Richie, I'm looking for Richie, man. Anybody see Richie? Yeah, man. Um... This is, so this, this is, whew. this is a hate crime. <sighs> Man, he ain't going to get a hate crime, though, watch. Wow. Mm, no, no, he's not going to get a hate crime. He ain't going to get a hate crime. Watch this shit. No, nope. he's going to nope. OR. <laughs> they won't even mention it. Like, that that, that won't even be brought up. About I'm surprised they even brought it up in this segment. Right, they honestly. didn't bring up hate crime. They just this but, is just a fact of the case. They didn't. No, I know, but they usually crime. hide all those facts in case. Yo, I, the fact that they mentioned this is racist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the the other guy might be a white guy. Good high probability with the suspect. According to court filings, police discovered that Petty had threatened several employees before the shooting, telling them he would come to the restaurant and, quote, shoot all the white people. Police say Petty's has denied any involvement in the attack. We used to talk about a lot about motive, and it seems that it's overrated now because it doesn't take much of anything. This is the second workplace shooting in Beach Grove in less than two months. In early October, an employee shot another employee during a fight at a dollar store. While the circumstances are different, Deputy Chief Tom Hurley said it demonstrates people's inability to solve problems without violence. A lot of times there in the, in the, the crazy world that we're living in, uh, there's no motive required at all. It could be a, a, a perceived slight. Uh, it could be a brushing by in a store. Petty's was booked into the Marion County Jail and is facing one count of aggravated battery. Police say that the victim remains hospitalized tonight, but is expected to make a full recovery. In Beach Grove, Max Lewis, Fox 59. Whoa, pause, Max the fuck Whoa, pause that shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. What did he just say the charge was? Hold on, let me see. Beach Grove, police say a chaos. Aggravated battery. Police say that the victim... 
Marion County Jail and is facing one count of aggravated battery. Are you Police say that the victim remains you kidding me? He no. shot someone in the head? Are you kidding me? Aggravated battery? Is that even a fucking felony? <laughs> yes, it's a felony. Aggravated so, battery. You can't look, fuck somebody up. <laughs> look, one, one thing's for sure, guys. The system is railroading the brothers. The brothers can't get a fair shake in this will, nakedly racist country. I will say that sometimes you do have to look at the state laws because they they do differ in title, mm. but they do mean different. They do mean different things, like as mm. far as sentencing. No. So aggravated but battery. battery it's still not a ten murder, though. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just saying it might be a more serious charge than, than you think, but I doubt it. Where this? But brother, at? he shot someone in the head. No, I get that. I get that. That's premeditation. A headshot is they, they, they a headshot is yeah, automatic is, yeah. premeditation. It is. After, it is. No, yeah. no, hold on, hold on. Absolutely. He shot him in the head after sending threatening text messages right, out all right. day. That's premeditation. And you came to the KFC to do it. Come on, come on. Th yeah. There's a laundry list of shit yeah, right there. How did it get downgraded to aggravate? Yo, winning a fight is aggravated battery if the person has a broken jaw. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's really no, simple, man. Would. Aggravated battery is touching or striking of another with intent to cause great bodily Brother, harm. You can get an injury. aggravated battery at a domestic dispute or at a bar yes. fight. This guy shot somebody in the fucking head. In the son. head. That son is privilege. That is, is that is that privilege. is yeah. Son that privilege. is attempted murder. Premeditated attempted murder. Yeah. Do they have different categories for uh, premeditated murder? I know for murder they do. I, would I don't know if they down. have. If I'm the son, man, I'm 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 telling my lawyer I want to take I want a cop. I want to say I'm jumping right down. on that. And no, they're gonna plead that down. So now they're gonna they're gonna, play they're gonna give so you a battery. lesser charge. Than yeah. that. So, so that's impossible. Get, that's impossible. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna get, get he's not gonna even get today. Get, yeah, he's gonna get possession of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's gonna get. He's gonna plead it gonna, down to possession. He's gonna get a UW, or, uh, you know, an awful weapon. Yeah. Yeah, man. He ain't man. even gonna get the illegal discharge ch charge. Yeah. I, I don't know if any of y'all ever been booked, but whenever you commit a violent crime, right, you don't just get the charge of the crime you get. There's about nine of the charges yeah. that come with it. And they throw them all out though once you go once you once you cop they they they, they only keep certain ones they gonna throw most of that shit out like eluding police yeah. or <laughs> Yo, arrest, you like some care. some places have like a terrorizing as well just like yeah. that shit you know get thrown I, out I, I can campfire this county and throw them all out. Mm. Wow. You gonna you wow. gonna get charged with trespass? This no, is, yeah, aggravated battery is not a misdemeanor. Someone said that in chat. No, it's not. Hmm. Petty was booked word. into the Marion County Jail and is facing one count of aggravated battery. Police Ooh. say that the victim remains hospitalized tonight, but is expected to make a full recovery. Full in Beach Grove, Max Lewis. I'm sorry. How? How? You I were shot in the... What was he shot in the head with? A BB gun? Right? What the fuck are you talking about? Full recovery. Yeah, no, is... did you hear that? Did you hear that one guy? He was like, uh, you know, people are getting in fights for brushing up against each other and stuff. It's like, man, you only you only swallowed half the red pill. You know, say mm -hmm. the rest of that. You know what I mean? Like what? Black people. Yeah, salute, salute.